If you would like to see how I made this DIY balloon wall using Dollar Tree poster boards, keep watching this video. As you can see, this did make a lovely photo shoot prop. Hey YouTube, today in this video, I am going to be using this electric balloon pump. I got this off either eBay or Amazon and it was about 20 to 25 dollars. I can't remember which one I got it from. The box is a little beat up for whatever reason, but I am going to attempt to make a small balloon wall to photograph my daughter in front of um, my daughters. I'm going to be taking their pictures and I want to have something cute and some balloons around. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this and opened up. I first saw this for the first time ever on this YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, she has such a lovely channel. Her name is, I think, Lakeisha or Keisha Sharp Bite Designs. And I've been watching her videos over the last few weeks and they are amazing, she's so professional, and she has me thinking that I can make something with balloons because I have no idea how to put balloon stuff together, I'm not a balloon artist, and I think what they do is amazing. So I'm gonna see what I can pull off So I this purchased all of these balloons from um, various places, like either Dollar Tree or I got them from um, eBay. So they're just 15 a pack, 10 a pack balloons, different sizes. I just wanted to have a nice little variety. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this balloon pump so we can get started on sand. It's a nice little solid little size here. Okay, it looks like there's not much in the box. There is a paper telling you to read the instructions. So hopefully if it comes, hopefully if it takes batteries, it comes with batteries. Okay, so there is an AC adapter. So it looks like there is a continuous switch. So you could use this continually just running or there's an inflation port where I guess it's an on and off switch. Let's see. Okay, so look here. There's an on and off button right there. On and off button is located right here. And push on switch on and off. Okay, I guess when you inflate the balloon, you kind of press down right here. I'm not sure what these two holes right here are for. Maybe you put on an extension on here if you wanna blow something up. I also see that there is, oh, okay. I thought this was where you put the batteries at. So you open a little door that says open and there is the cord. So it does not take batteries. I thought it took batteries and plugs in the wall. So that's good anyway, cause it, the battery would probably go dead as, after using it for about 10 so I'm gonna go ahead and get this plugged in the wall here. And you can close the door back. There's a little opening right here to put the cord through. Okay. Pinch the edge of the balloon with the fingers first and cover the inflation port with the balloon. Then press the inflation port. Um, Slightly, I guess it means to say slightly, to inflate the balloon and release the inflation port to stop. And then operation two, for inflating the balloons continuously, please switch on, then cover the inflation port. Okay, so if it's on continuously, you don't have to do the push down to activate it, I guess. That's what it's trying to say. Operation one is suitable for inflating single or few balloons. Operation two is for is suitable for inflating mini balloons continuously. So if you're only gonna do a few balloons, then you just wanna use the operation one, which is pinching it and pressing it down to get the air to come out. Woo! <laughs> okay, so that caught me off guard. Operation two. Oh! Switch that button on. So that's operation two. Once you switch this button on, it's on. And it looks like, oh, it blow out nice and powerful too. So you can blow up multiple balloons, multiple balloons at the same time. So that's pretty neat. So let's get this thing started. And I have my hot glue gun here, um, getting nice and hot because I am gonna put together with these poster boards you see here, I'm gonna put together a small wall. So I'm gonna wall. go two at a time and I'm gonna have it on continuous mode. All right, so let's see how this goes. Oh, wow. That is fast. So it 
blows up the balloon. Like before you could blink your eyes, the balloon is like right there. Huge. Okay. So I gotta get good enough to be able to figure out how to do two at the same time because I was trying to hold it on there. So, all right. Okay, so I'm gonna try this again and try to get both to go at the same time. So I'm just gonna, okay, this, oh, wait. So this is the side that doesn't do that. So I'm gonna put that side on first. I'm gonna have to get used to this because this is like really quick. Okay, these are humongous. So you wanna make sure they're not too cone shapey. Well, at least that's what uh, the lady said in the video, Lakeisha Sharp. She said, sharp designs by Keisha. It's something like that. So she said to, you don't want the cone looking shape of the balloon. So what you wanna do is hold the balloon, let some of the air out, and push it down to where it's more circular. I think like that. And then do the same thing to the other one. But have more of a circle shape. Okay, and then what she does in her videos is she take both of the, oh, no! Oh my God. All right, okay, so let the balloon let go. Just blow yeah. this back up. Okay. Okay. She takes the balloons and she ties them together. And she does, it's like hundreds of balloons that she blows up for her, um, her things that she's going to make. Okay, so there I have that right there. And I'm just gonna keep going and just see how how this goes here. So this is like this is my living room because the balloons got a little overwhelming for the kitchen. I'm just gonna show myself blowing more of these balloons up with the blower, and then I'm gonna try to put together a little small balloon wall. So we'll be right back. Just keep making more. I'll tie these together. Make sure they have a nice circle shape to them. Tie them up. So some of them I tied together, some of them I didn't. I don't know is that sometimes I don't know what I want to do. So I might, I may do a small little arch or some type of garland if possible. I've never done any of this before, so I'm kind of all over the place and I'm really, really excited about it. But I know I want to do a balloon wall. I want them to take a picture in front of some balloons. So you can just continue watching me blow up the Okay, so here I'm just showing you all the balloons I have. Some of them I tied together because I do want to do some type of arch slash garland, and some are just separate. This type of balloon with this blower. I bought this off um, Amazon. I got like two of them for like seven dollars. And this is like a 30 or a 40 inch balloon. Probably like 35, 36 inches. It's really big and pretty. It's a crown, in case you can't tell. So I don't know how this is gonna go. Cause it says you're supposed to, have, it's like a valve. We're gonna so find out. A big balloon. I was gonna, I thought I would be able to pull this off, but I tore it open, trying to figure out what was going on. And it looked like there's some type of valve you need to stick up in these type of balloons to blow them up. So I guess if you do buy one of these on Amazon, you have to have it blown up by professional. Which is fine, but I still wanna just stick it in this hole and just see what I can get going here. Let's 
see how I can manipulate it to still have some type of something. Maybe a rubber band or something, we'll see. But that was what I was able to do. So it's, it's ripped at the bottom, but if I can get some type of action out this balloon. I'll okay, so here what I'm doing is lining up the poster board that I purchased from Dollar Tree for a dollar a piece to make my little balloon wall. If you want yours bigger, just get two more. Or you can get however many you want to make it bigger. Then I had some Amazon boxes. I'm gonna cut this up like you see me doing right here just to make a few panels so I can add some reinforcement to the back to make everything stick together. These are the panels that I came up with. I am using Gorilla Wood Glue to make this stay together. And I'll also be adding some hot glue as well from my hot glue gun just to make it stick a little bit faster. So that's what I'm doing right here. Now I am adding the cardboard panels, but next time, Instead of doing two by two, I'll kind of go like a cross, like a T-shape, instead of doing them half and half. But you'll do yours, um, you'll do yours differently than this. So instead of doing two by two, you just connect them all right in the center. So I'm just making sure I press down really firmly on the glue to make sure that everything is nice and seamless. So I'm gonna flip this over and show you. See how that's nice and even and seamless? Now what I'm going to do is add on the other two boards so that they all come together as one big board. So right here in the center, I'm using more of the glue to add that all together. It's off camera. Just basically some Amazon boxes that are cut up. Now what I'm going to do is flip this over. Hopefully it stays together, like in my mind, how I think it should. But sometimes, let's see, I want to make sure it don't feel too weak. Okay. Okay, so, so far it looks like it is pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to just start adding the balloon. All right, so what you see me doing here now is adding a little bit of hot glue to the board to stick on the balloons. So I added like a little strip and tried to stick it on there. The problem I ran into, it just took a long time for it to stick. So I had to like really hold it on there until the glue dried all the way. So that's what I was doing right here because it just kept not sticking. So you have to be patient with it. If not, there's these little, you could use like double-sided tape, I guess. So next time I do this, I will order these little things called Zots, Z-O-T, Z-O-T-S. Uh, I am there on Amazon. Okay, so this is what I have so far. This is how it looks um, laying down still. I'm just trying to fill in any spaces because you definitely want to try not to have um, all the white showing. So I'm trying to lift this up um, so you can see how it looks standing up. So this is how it looks sitting up and this is how it looks sit standing up vertically. And I think it's coming together really nice. I just need to put some smaller balloons on here. Here I'm just trying to add a couple more balloons to fill in the spaces. Now what I'm going to do, I have some fishing line um, that I got off Amazon. This fishing line was about, I guess four dollars or less off Amazon. I'm just going to be taking these balloons and making like clusters like this. I would just kind of tie them together as I was going along. So I have multiple of these here. And I'm just gonna try to make something, I don't know. Um, so this is all new for me, like I said. But I'm just gonna keep making them together. I don't know if I should just keep going. It probably end up being a big circle. So I don't know, I'm gonna try to make maybe a garland. This is all to have something in the back. Okay, so basically what you see me doing now is just tying clusters of the balloons together. So I'm just making sure I have at least four clusters, four balloons on each cluster, tying them together. Then I'm gonna take my fishing line like I'm doing right here and just going around each balloon and then trying to attach another cluster to that. 
and doing it as tight as I can so it can come together and not have any spaces between it. So I'm kind of wrestling with the balloons, trying to get a feel for it because this is my first time doing this. But I'm just going to continue to do that until it comes, starts to look like something that's forming into a garland. that you see here is what I was trying to do on camera it's not really that tight um it's like I've been doing this for so many hours at this point whatever I have I'm cool with it I just want to have some balloons around as a prop to take pictures so I have this cluster this cluster then I have a bigger cluster here and what I'm gonna do is just tie them all in together and be done with that so I can wrap this video up so I'm gonna take some more of this fishing line and you, you get quite a bit of it too. It's really, really small, but it's clear, it's perfect. It really comes in handy. Okay, and I wanna say, this project didn't cost me any more. I wanna say no more than, what do I wanna say this cost me? Um, I'd like to say this didn't cost any more than $30. Um, all the balloons pretty much came from Dollar Tree. But there were some balloons that came from Walmart. They were only $1.99 per bag. Then the, um, let's see. Oh, these boards that I used from Dollar Tree were $4. Then I had some cardboard um, Amazon boxes around the house. Who doesn't have Amazon boxes laying around? So I used those to add some reinforcement to the back. For sure, this didn't cost no more than forty dollars. I don't think it did. Glue sticks, hot glue gun. I think that's basic stuff most crafters have. And if you don't have it, it's all at Walmart. Or okay, Amazon. so here's the finished result. It took quite some time. So I figured this could either be like a balloon garland, like the way I have it set up, okay. or or it could be like an arch. I could arch it better. really good with the fishing rod, uh, with the fish line. Then, here is my balloon wall. I feel like it could be better, of course. This is my first time, so I feel like it's not that bad. Because, you know, when you do something, you look at it and you're like, oh, okay, I know what I did wrong. So, for the next time, you know <laughs> where to go better. I'm going to do a lot more smaller balloons. Um... I think the main goal, of course, is to not be able to see the white. But this was pretty affordable. And I think it's cute to have her stand in front of it. I'm gonna do her a little photo shoot. Let's see if I can kinda, I'll insert some pictures. This is one of the pictures you. from her photo shoot for her website myroyalradiance.com. Support that, shameless plug. She's standing in front of the garland. But um, thank you for watching this video. I hope this did inspire you to get one of those little balloon blowers. Like I said, they were only about $25 or less on Amazon or eBay, free shipping. The balloons came from Dollar Tree, mainly. Um, I used nine inch balloons, 15 inch, 12 inch balloons, various sizes. And the balloon blower is super easy to learn how to use. So thanks again for watching this video. Look at my baby. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe if that's what you like to do. Um, okay. Okay, so I'm starting a business for my daughters. The website is myroyalradiance.com. And these pictures, I wanted the balloons to be in them for, it's like a celebration to launch their website. So it should be up and running within the next few days. Support that, check that out. But you see how beautiful these pictures became as a nice prop. 
There my daughter is in front of the balloon wall. In the previous picture, my other daughter, she was in front of the garland that I made. So I hope you found some inspiration with this video and give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Thank you. Bye-bye.